Hello everyone, my name is Moreno and today I'm going to take you on to a little journey back in time. We start off in the year 2002 when Google announced a new search product, which looked a little bit like this. That's wrong. Even though I'm Swiss, that kind of looks wrong. Ah, uh, yeah, much better. This oddly shaped box was actually the server for their uh, search solution called Google Search Appliance. The year 2014, one of our biggest customers bought some of these boxes and put it into place in a solution which looked a little bit like this. Centralized Search API and Google Search Appliance. Google Search Appliance is crawling different company websites. And um, if a user, for example, uh, looks for pages that uh, with the term banane, which is the German term for banana, goes to the Google search appliance, gets back some search results matching that search term and it displays that in the front end. Fast forward to the year 2016 when Google announced that they're no longer going to sell new licenses for Google search appliance and therefore going to discontinue supporting that solution, um, which was a problem for us because we still had to somehow integrate that into the, the current tech stack. So um, we had some challenges for a new solution. I'm just going to point out the two main requirements, which are multilingual support, as well as it had to fit the current tech stack, meaning that you still have that uh, centralized search API. So what we came up with was uh, Elasticsearch, of course, because we already used it in different projects and we loved it. But we still had the problem to um, get the data from those different company sites into Elasticsearch somehow, and therefore we needed a crawler. And we chose Apache Notch for that. And um, the new solution we developed back in the year 2017 looked a little bit like that. So I'm mainly going to focus on the crawling part. So we, you have uh, Apache Notch crawling different websites. And for one given site, it determines it, its language. It extracts data such as title, content, metadata, domain, and so on. And then it's going to index that into the Elasticsearch cluster. And there we have four different indices. Uh, one for German, one for French, and one for Italian, as well as a sync index. The sync index is actually being used if uh, Notch is unable to determine a site's language or it isn't one of those three main languages, such as uh, for, uh, English sites, it goes into the sync index. So the new solution looked uh, similar, but still different, like um, we replaced the whole Google stack with uh, Elasticsearch. So you have the centralized search API that issues the call to Elasticsearch directly. For example, if the user now searches for pages with the word uh, banana in it and for the language, uh, for uh, the language German, it would issue a search call to Elasticsearch and it would do a multi-index search. So it's going to target the German index and boost that index, but it, it as well is going to search in the sync index with a lower boost. So the user also finds if there is uh, the problem with indexing, it also finds uh, um, content in that sync index. So the conclusion to that is that Elasticsearch greatly meets the demand to efficiently issue searches across uh, around a million company owned web pages in our case, which is just great. Thank you for your time. Um, you, here you can find my, uh, my contact information as well as a link to the blog post I wrote about this topic, which goes into detail a lot more. So you might want to check this out as well. Thank you and goodbye.